Good evening and happy Monday to you all at home. Welcome to another episode of Destiny. I'm Mahali Buchanan and with me is your amazing, amazing, Polani Ndlalose, in Tizwa, Yase Olundi, Insight. <laughs> Thanks, Mahala. Yes, indeed, it is yet another Monday and yet another exciting episode of Destiny. Remember, Mondays should be welcomed with a great enthusiasm and enormous tank full of energy like I have today. Well, with that said, we have really, really tonight, you know, prepared you viewers an inspiring episode that you're going to be so inspired that you would want to miss an episode. Of yeah, you're, you're definitely going to stay for this whole episode. Mm -hmm. Listen, our guest tonight is a lady that I call a multi-potential because she has literally done it all. She started her career in 2004 as a presenter of a youth show that has led her roles on South Africa's biggest soapies such as Generations, Rhythm City and Isidengo and as well hosted the gospel grooves. And of course, her musical talents extend from composing the theme tunes to uh, shows, including Afro Cafe, to being the musical director and in a number of TV shows in Africa. She has won numerous awards uh, for her work and has recently been appointed as the youngest vice chairperson for uh, some role, the South African Music Rights Organization. I was looking into it, my daughter. Destiny, we are proud to welcome <laughs> Rile Mukhile Mabuja right here. Yes. That's me. That's you know what? I think that was probably the longest introduction that you actually had here on the show. And you could have just said, <laughs> no, 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 we had to. <laughs> we, <laughs> we had to. Because I'm going to say, 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 you know, with all that said, with all that you have done, <laughs> how does it feel to, to have achieved so much at such a young age? Mm. So, like, it's scary because mm. um, I, I never feel like I can rest. I always feel like I have to keep doing better. I want, so if they're like, who owns a song more? You want to move on to the next one. Yeah. I literally said um, to someone, it's a weird feeling. I want a song. I was in a hospital bed and wow. I, it was one in my absence. Ten minutes later, I was like, okay, what's next? The feeling's gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, so yeah, yeah. it's pressure, but it's also, I'm, I'm so grateful. I'm so blessed. I'm very blessed. Mm. Mm. Well, you started as a, you know, as a child star. Um, and at the time, of course, uh, you still had school to, to, to um, you know, there was a priority for you. But how did you manage uh, balancing, following your dream and your purpose yeah. and still schooling? Uh, good parents, man. Like, once you have people that put, I mean, my parents, we had an agreement that we signed with my headmistress and my parents to say, no matter what happens, I'm mm -hmm. a trick and you're going to pursue other things. And uh, I got to be on stage singing in the evenings. And then during the day, there I was, got my meds textbook, mm -hmm. teaching myself, but it's just keeping the eye on the prize and knowing, I never want to consider myself in any way as having quit or failed or incompleted something. Mm. Mm. And then from presenting uh, uh, or rather hosting a, a, a show on TV, you went to Generations and mm. you were acting on Generations. We saw you as well mm. on Rhythm City. But I just want to find out when did the, the acting bug, you know, like, ding, this is what you need to do as well. When I was four, throwing a tantrum, <laughs> trying to get my way to my parents. <laughs> that was my first acting gig. When I was like, guys, I'm running away from home. <laughs> the first time I got paid, though, I was in high school acting and singing and dancing on stage. And I couldn't believe, Hori, you can love something so much. And then, like, yeah. bonus, le bonus. Mm. Um, and... Yeah, I, I don't even, it's, it's still overwhelming to be like, I did that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, I think one thing that literally stands out about you, which is not really very, very common um, in, in especially the industry that you're in, where people are able to move from the secular straight into the gospel. Yes. Was it an intentional decision that you made to say that you want to dominate across genres or is it just something that caught you on your path? Well, it, it's always been a part of my life. I mean, to think, yeah. those are the first hymns we are humming. Our mm. grandmothers are humming to us. Mm. Then when I was singing in choirs, I mean, I was singing even Afrikaans church songs, wow. performing at the Enchia Yes. You know, the Hira. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? 
on the first door. And then, you know, I went into kids' TV presenting and then an opportunity came to present a gospel show. And I, mm. obviously, I'm not going to say no. It was such a great opportunity mm. meeting amazing people like the late Lundi, wow. the late... Uh, well, I met uh, Asfiso later, but Avoyo Mokwe and I, mm -hmm. I met him at that time. And I think it, it, what happens, guy, you skihore, it's wasted on us. You don't realize how big moments are until Sedi yeah, Fidile. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You, 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 are, you are a woman with, with so many accolades. And one of them is uh, the awards. You have the SAFTA, you also have the SAMA. Let's talk mm. about that. I'm sure a lot of people are like, SAMA? Hmm. I know. <laughs> and I kind of like it that way. Yeah. The people about my God. But yeah. um, when I was around 18, uh, somebody said, listen, my friend needs a singer on a kiddies album. You know, just come through. But And at that time, I just wanted to sing. I didn't care where or what I was singing. I just wanted to be there. Got into studio. Over two days, we recorded a whole kiddies album teaching kids wow. the African alphabet. So it's like wow. A is for Africa, B is for the Baobab tree. U is for Ululate, you know, mm. it was so fun. Mm. And then next thing I was like, I didn't even know there was a category for, for this um, wow. it, at the summers. And then we won. And I was like, okay, wow. that's kind of cool. I didn't Tick. intend, but <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about the softers as well. There is a softer, you know, beneath your belt as well. Yeah, so um, it, it was a best cost softer that I won um, with such a fantastic team called Rhythm City. And I think it was such a critical time what we were doing, which was just uh, showing a young group of girls that would hang out together out of the school in the township. And we're just addressing the issues. Mm. One more Jola gets pregnant, another one's having issues with her mom. And at the time it just seemed like fun, but I think we you lose perspective because it's just cameras in a room. Yeah. Mm. Jorge, you're actually affecting so many people's lives. Yeah. Mm. Amazing. Mm. You know, amidst all these amazing accolades and everything else, Family is definitely something that is close to your heart. Would you say that your family has kept you grounded? Oh, definitely. Um, like we're const <laughs> constantly making fun of each other. And they're always like, if you bring a man or a partner into this family, <laughs> one of the things my, my grandmother <laughs> used to like saying, like, sometimes we but but sometimes we are <gasps> Today, shame was <laughs> Or she'd be like, why all of us way? But she'd say the same thing about herself. You'd show her a picture, yeah. be like, Kim Omas way, like when <laughs> <laughs> So we're always laughing and yeah. just there's no hype. Yeah. There's no yeah. hype at yeah. all. Yeah. It's just about and we're just having a good time. Yeah, mm. yeah. I mean, you've, you've been in the industry for, for a while now. Uh, what, what would you say has been your best uh, advice that you have received in the industry? Ooh. Um, what comes to mind, especially now that I have this new position and all these congratulations are coming, mm. you must just take your congratulations and your criticism the same. Because you'll get hyped up when people are like, well done, yeah, queen, yeah, I'm on my mm. And then the next one's like, I only want my you know? Mm. Mm. And if you don't take them the same, that mm. means with a pinch of salt at a distance, mm. then you're able to continue doing what you're doing with your head still intact. Mm. But if mm. you get excited by the hype, I trust me, you're gonna be broken by the criticism. And it takes one, one oh, voice absolutely. out mm. of a hundred. So mm. that was the best advice that I got. Whatever you get told, take it the same way, be it positive, be it negative. Mm. Amazing. Was, you know, I mean, you were in front of the camera, but right now, you know, Destiny has literally led you to be behind the camera. <laughs> was it always something that you, that, that you literally made a decision to say that it's something that I'd love to grow in? Or how did that literally happen for you? I don't think it's something that I just made a decision. I knew that I liked to just make up songs. And then you find out later, oh, people get co get paid to compose, like, mm. or oh, compose, or oh, all that, yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah. Mm. And then also, I think with just the producing part, I, I, I didn't realize what I was doing, but I was 18 years old, sending faxes to the Minister of Education, Minister of Sport, Minister of Arts and Culture at the time, because wow. we didn't have email. And I was like, guys, I want to do a TV show where we show people what jobs you can do. Mm. Please fund it. And no one, the minister's people would write back, say, sorry, we can't help you. And then one production company said, hey, you know, we can't give you a show, but come work for us. Wow. So I think in my mind, I always was somebody who wanted yeah. to create, yeah. uh, even if we were doing plays. I was the one going, hey, I'm all man. Yeah. <laughs> we now we, 
<laughs> that was always me telling people where to go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow! In, in the talents that you have, one of them, I'm sure that people doesn't know much about it, is that you can absolutely sing. She can so, sing. Yeah. I wouldn't say absolutely. I'd be like, no. She can sing. <laughs> no, if you, have, if you have a summer. You can uh, Listen, sing. Levels, <laughs> levels. So we want to go to an ad break by, uh, if, if you can just give us a song. Okay. This man is the man. Ah. Sounds like a jam session. When I close my eyes, hey. There we go. Hey. <laughs> hey. Oh, sorry, I can't hear my notes. There we go. When I close my eyes. Uh, there we go. Hey. Okay. Hey. hey. Two. Three, let's go, and when I close my eyes, I think of you and reminisce of all the things we do. I can't imagine my life without you. It's like paradise now. I know that it's real. Ooh, it's a mystery for someone to be the one just to be. Now a new cavalry makes me wanna love you more. I never knew. I could be so happy. Oh, I never knew I feel so secure because of your love. Life has brand new meaning. It's gonna be a brighter day, 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 brighter day, brighter day, day, day. I want. I love. <laughs> well, it feels like we're having a jam session right here on Destiny. <laughs>